This video clip will demonstrate only advanced settings for the Sapling Master Clock using its built-in web interface. If you are doing the initial setup for a master clock, you can start by viewing the Sapling Master Clock configuration video clip. Setting Events and Schedules If you purchased a master clock with programmable relays, you can create scheduled events to trigger third-party systems. Master clocks are offered with an optional four or eight programmable relays for controlling different systems, activating devices on different schedules, or distributing electrical load. For example, a school that uses programmable relays can use a combination of schedules and events to control their bell system. An event is any action performed by the relays on a given day of the week and time, while a schedule contains a group of events. Schedules can be given distinct names by clicking on the Schedules tab, followed by the Define Schedule Names button. These names can be used to identify a schedule's intended purpose, such as normal, early dismissal, late arrival, or half day. After deciding whether or not to name their schedule, a user can then start assigning events to it. To set up an event, click on the Events tab and select the Add New Event button. On the Event Configuration menu, a user can set the activation status of the relay, the time that activation will occur, which days of the week that activation will occur, and the schedule that the event should be assigned to. Click Submit and Finish to save your event. For the school bell example, a user might create a schedule consisting of eight events, each timed one hour apart which activates a bell relay for three seconds each time. As standard, a user can set a relay to close for three seconds or five seconds. The master clock's relays can be set to close for longer durations by creating two separate events, one to activate the relay and one to deactivate the relay, or by customizing the relay closure times in the Clock Features tab. This allows a user to program up to two custom closure durations for each programmable relay. Another type of event is a countdown event, in which the master clock is scheduled to send a countdown to all digital clocks in the system. Countdown events are only available if you are using a master clock with four or eight programmable relays. Purchased a countdown upgrade for the master clock and your master clock is providing time data to digital clocks in a sapling two-wire or wireless clock system. Two unique events must be created for each countdown, a countdown start event and a countdown stop event. To add countdown events, select the Add New Events button to open the event configuration menu. First, input the time the countdown should begin which days of the week the countdown should occur, and the schedule the countdown event should be assigned to. Then, select See Start in Zone 1 and click Submit and Finish to save your countdown start event. Create a second event for the end of the countdown and select See Stop from the drop-down menu. Set the time the countdown should end and be sure to select the same schedule and the same days of the week as your countdown start event. Some users create a countdown that ends at the same time their master clock is activating another system. For example, a school may count down to the time their master clock will trigger their bell system between classes. In this example and similar applications, the countdown stop event must be added to the same event that was set to activate the bell system. You can also set schedule changes to account for holidays or any preset changes in your facility's schedule. On the Schedules page, select Add New Schedule Change. 
select the schedule that the master clock should change to and the date and time the change should take place. Add another schedule change to set the master clock to switch back to your facility's normal schedule. Email Alerts Every Sapling Master Clock is able to send email alerts directly to an internal email address. In the Email tab, users can set the master clock to send email alerts in the event of synchronization loss, power cycles, and more depending on your master clock model. To do so, enter the username of the email recipient, the email domain, and the email server address. Then, select which alerts you would like to send and click Submit. To review these and other optional master clock settings, please refer to your master clock's manual.